This is Greg Kelly's story, but it could be yours. Greg was a displaced teenager due to illnesses that both parents were facing. His mother was recovering from brain surgery and his father more recently from a stroke. It started with a statement made by a four-year-old boy that was simple in nature. His concerned parents took the child back to daycare despite the statements that had been made. After some time, the parents called the authorities and formalized their allegations without ever talking to Greg. The authorities never investigated the allegation or interviewed Greg. They simply filed charges. Charges were filed by the Cedar Park Police Department and Greg agreed to cooperate with the authorities right after his first football practice of his senior year. And the media circus began. Greg was betrayed as a pedophile and a villain before he ever had his day in court. The comments by the Cedar Park Chief of Police seemed premature, out of line. It made Greg seem guilty with the need to prove his innocence instead of innocent until proven guilty. He was expelled from school and sent to military school where he excelled just as he has at every level of education and in life. Due to the fact that there was no evidence or witnesses for the prosecution to work with, Greg was offered a probation for a plea of guilty, but he trusted the Williamson County judicial system and stood by his principles to tell the truth and refused to lie and say he did something he did not do. There was never any evidence in this case, simply accusations. Instead of the prosecution having the burden of proof, the defense was expected to prove Greg's innocence. Mysteriously, there was never a time or date that the alleged assault occurred and never any evidence or testimony that they were ever alone together. Even though the police scrutinized his cell phone, nothing inappropriate was found. Still, to this day, there has never been any evidence to incriminate him in any way. If this could happen to Greg, it could happen to you. Please, walk with me through this. With now you support, I cannot put my son out. With now you don't hold my hand, I cannot do this by myself. I've been doing all what I can, all what we could did for him as a family. I'm just telling you this. I do not own anything anymore, as everything is gone. My furniture, my home, all what I own is a 12-year-old car. I'm asking you, please, Help me to bring my son out.